This is Virgo Sun, Moon, and Ascendant. And if you have lots of Virgo aspects, this reading is for you. Now, Virgo's been another one of those signs that have had a tough few years. I'm hoping Virgo gets a break. Wow, that's good. All right. You got some really good cards. Here's one. Here's a nice card. So this card here speaks of you. This is the Virgo card. So that's at the top of your of your um, career place, which is an absolutely perfect place for Virgo to have that card. Because in the past, it shows this kind of energy, the star card in reverse. And so because the star card's in reverse, what it really indicates is that the last few years in your career has just been... You know, you're working because you need to make money, not because you're happy with it. It hasn't been a career, it's been a job. This particular month looks like it's just going to get a little bit more in your favor. A little bit more in your favor again. So this is good, Virgo, because you've had a hell of a time. So I'm going to say, you know, have some positive thoughts here. Step it up. June is going to be a way better month, let's say, than February was. Way better. Uh, new friends, new opportunities, gatherings, experiences that really put a smile on your face. Um, trip. You might even go on a trip. I see some changes in the home environment. Either you're going to, either you put your house up for sale, you buy a house or you move. Something to do with your residence. And it's a really good thing. It's a positive thing. And if you do tend to stay put in the house that you're uh, living in now, you're going to either do some rentals or make some changes in that house. Okay. So the whole point of it all is Virgo, your home life is going to improve some way. Okay. For certain. This is good because it's been kind of crappy for a while. Maybe you haven't felt like you've had a say. Maybe you've had to do things other people's ways. Maybe you've had um, uh, either a difficult person who's monitoring your every move, like a micromanager, or, or you think they're micromanaging you anyway, or you're worried to do or say certain things because they don't like that and you don't want to... You don't want a confrontation. You know how you Virgos can be. You don't want a confrontation, so you withdraw. Um, I do think you're going to um, meet up with someone. Either you're in a relationship with someone or you're going to meet up with someone that I'm not going to give the okay to regarding a love affair. Okay? I think you're breaking out of something in terms of your choices around relationships. But you're not breaking out in a good way yet. So June, I think you're going to get another lesson, another relationship that's going to give you messages and lessons and learning how to, you know, maybe go for what you want better. I think you Virgos settle. You know, maybe maybe you've settled uh, and then you get too excited about something too soon. I don't know how else to put it. Um, but you got a number of dark cards around relationships and love affairs that just makes me want to pull back. So if you're if you're getting into the situation for a sexual experience, go for it. Enjoy it. Don't move them in. Don't move them in. Not in the month of June. Please don't move them in. Wait one more month at least to make sure, okay? And don't you move in. Not in the month of June. Think about it. Talk it through. But don't do it in the month of June. Because it looks to me like if you do it in the month of June, you're going to figure out that the person you moved in with is not your is is another settling is not the one, and so I'm just I'm just worried that you're going to move too quickly because of your excitement. So that's what I'm asking you to slow down about. Okay, um, if you're in a long term relationship, I think some of you are going to want the hell out, and this might be where you're going to have to you know pull your big girl or big boy socks up and. And make that move, make that change. And and so I guess what I'm saying is marry yourself. Marry yourself, no matter what, whether in a love affair or whether not. The whole point of this is getting to a place where you're completely confident with you as an individual and you feel strong, okay? You need to feel strong. You're, you, it's no more giving your power away. So if the person vibes to the right um, energy that you want, okay. So what am I telling you is be selfish. Be selfish. Super, super, super selfish. Okay? Marry yourself this month. That's all. Just this month, okay? Just for June. In July, you can do whatever the heck you want. Or we'll check in with me later. But for now, just not in June, okay? If you want to leave someone in June, I'm going to say that, you know, I don't know. I'm just getting this... Yes, you can, but maybe you can't actually move out in June. 
but you can think about it and you can set it up for June. I mean, you can set it up in June, let's say for July or August. I hope that makes sense. Okay? I hope that makes sense. Mm -hmm. um, if you personally have had any addictions, restrictions, limitations, obsessions, this is the time for you to work on that. Remember I said marry yourself? Marry yourselves and fix, on your, fix yourself. Work on yourself. Be your own best friend. Love yourself. And if you've been, you know, saying to yourself, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, and you can't do it or you haven't been doing it, smarten the hell up. Do it. Do what you think you're going to do. Do what you think you say. Do what you say, Virgo. Then you're going to do some remodeling right on, right? So, yeah, I think as far as the workplace energy, Virgo, you may not have the exact job you want yet, but I see some ticking going on in here and opportunities going to fall into place. So if you want something else, put your resume out there, put your feelers out there and stir that pot because people are listening to you. Enjoy the month of June as a um, reconnecting with your soul, with yourself, um, with others, other opposite sex or same sex, depending on your choice. I'm um, reconnecting with others. Don't make anything official, but have some fun. Okay. Have some fun. It's time. I know you want a commitment. I know you'd like that. I know this. I know you would like that commitment, but I'm not, I'm not convinced this is the time. I'm not. And there won't be. I'm being told this. Just take your time. Uh, be, you're going to be given the same kind of thing that Leo is going to be given as an opportunity to help other people. Hold your own. Hold your hold the fort. OK, hold your own and hold the fort and make sure that those people around you that uh, you have heartfelt for, feelings for, that you're serving them, helping them and be supportive to them. Because this is this is your time to give love, but without attachment. OK, so that's why I say if there's a sexual thing, go for it. Um, but relationship wise, I kind of just want you to maintain your own energy for now. OK, because I think it'll work out better for you. And when July comes, you'll be ready and you'll be like reaping the rewards and ready to go. Alrighty. Um, there might be uh, as far as the workplace, you may be walking away from a workplace environment. Maybe it's just not it's just not cutting it for you.